This is the dog kennel room. I've been using this room as donation storage and all other kinds of crap of storage. This bed is the bed that the dogs used to use. And this is basically where we would kennel them if we had to be gone for hours. They have a ramp on this side that they would walk up, but Pumpkin insists on jumping down and he has arthritis in his back legs. So we will not be using this as that any longer. The idea is to turn this room into my workspace. Summer is coming up and I know that we're going to be needing an air conditioning unit in the living room, which is right next to where my computer desk is. I also have to move the lighting around every time I want to talk to you guys and Steven works from home. His computer and his workspace right next to the kitchen where I usually try and talk to you guys and if that area isn't available then I usually skip talking to the camera. So hopefully this is going to work on a few levels of changing this room around. Hopefully I'm going to be putting a room that is no longer in use back into use and I don't like to spend money so I'm going to be switching the bed and the couch from the living room and putting my workspace in here. And instead of a couch, I'll basically just have a day bed. <laughs> we don't have guests come over, so it's not embarrassing to put a bed in the living room for me. I just lay on the couch anyway when I'm using it. And Steven likes to sit at his computer desk when he's in the living room. So it's literally just a laying space for me to watch TV while I'm relaxing. So that's what today's video is about. Switching some of the living room in for some of this room and making a YouTube workspace. Let's see how this goes. I've taken measurements and the bed should fit perfectly right here. Don't force me out of bed in your society. Don't push me down the road you've been down. Don't try to fix my head, it's just your anxiety. Don't hush me now cause I just wanna shout. Where do you want me? Out of the way. Yeah. It could be my work table if you got the legs right. Yeah. One of my biggest problems with my table right now is that it's not sturdy. Yeah? Yeah. Might have, might have a record with you as well as you don't. 
Can we check that real quick? Because we could do that today, couldn't we? I think it's a perfect fit. I think so. All right, with some minor readjusting, cat tree fits there, bed, light. We are currently looking at maybe fixing that into a work table for me if we have the right two by fours. Okay, I have little hope for it, but it'd be real nice if my sheet that I put the couch, that I put over the couch to protect it from the dogs fits on this mattress. I need to wash it, but I'm gonna test it first. Just see, because we have to go shopping maybe. Um, all right, so right now, I'm gonna say this fits. It does need to be washed, so I have to take this all off. But the good news is, is that I don't have to buy something new. I liked how this looked in the living room. Long fluffy pillows in the back. My headrest pillows here. Should work good. I don't want to hear about him not wearing shoes. I told him to wear shoes. That was his decision as an adult. He's the only one who can drive though. So we'll have to call an ambulance if he loses a toe. Three quarters of an inch taller than you want, I said. That's, that makes all the difference because this is sitting like this versus sitting like this. It's a shrug of a shoulder. <laughs> no, that's fixable. The problem is, is that this is going to be unbearably uncomfortable because okay. this is not a soft edge. Okay. So to be hitting that nonstop is going to hurt too much. Okay. So it is unusable the way it is. Okay. Either to be shorter or not to use it, I guess, huh? Can I grab tarp and we cut it in here? Can this just be a project we work on later? Whatever you want, baby. I want it shorter and done now. We'll go down an inch, I think, huh? Okay. makes all the difference. Oh wait, with the padding, does that make it the same height that it was? Well, we push it on there. No, it still works. I guess the, it adds like maybe a quarter of an inch. It will come back when you put, as you put weight on it. Also help level it out. It's still a lot sturdier than my card table already. Yep. It does seem like it's leaning a little bit this way. Probably is. There's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing, there's no right angles on the, the entire project. <laughs> so I don't know what you're talking about. It looks straight until it gets right here and then it needs to like come up like that. Do you think we could put one piece right there? Yeah, sugar packet it. There we go. Honestly, I am not mad at it. I mean, it does kind of perfectly say what, what our values in our household are. If it functions and it's reusing materials we already have and it's better than what we were using, it's perfect. See, now when I come to talk to you guys, I can still have you in the flattering angle that I like, but now I have plenty of room to do it. Yay, all right, let's do the couch. I'm just gonna need your help with like a couple more things. Do I lift it? Well, you, does this thing not screw in? I mean, one. some of them just don't screw in because it's cheap Wayfair, you know? I lift from the bottom. Did I lift too quickly? Look, the couch gets all its facts back. 
Yeah. It's still got the stain from pumpkin licking on it. Ooh, you know what? I want my paintings up. You could help me with that? <laughs> you said you'd help me with this today. <laughs> the room is here. Well, I need a stud because one of them is super heavy. <laughs> Behind this wall, will, do you think that will help with sound? I have no idea. Yeah? So that's not how they make acoustic panels. Oh, it's not? No. How do you make an acoustic panel? So, you don't want anything that's flat is basically going to transmit sound through it. Okay. So a wall, those, the way they make acoustic panels is they put the cones on the wall. Oh, I've seen that. Those. Which, which, so there's no, there's no flat thing for it to pack against any angle reflects it starts bouncing it back and forth away from the wall you're trying to get the sound to go through. Okay. Or keep the sound from going through. So I don't even have the right materials for that to begin with. So yeah. So what are you doing with this? Oh, is it crooked or is my camera crooked? I've always known that my camera is a little crooked. That looks perfectly so where do you want this? Can we put the couch back on it? Isn't that, that lines up perfect. Yeah, okay. So I think adding the other one right here. recording officially in my new space. I do have a couple videos that I'm working a long experiment type deal situation on. So you will see me in other aspects of other rooms. And of course my channel is a vlog based on weight loss. So expect to see me in the kitchen quite often still. I really love this. Look at all the options I have. I can be as loud as I want, as far away, as close. We can chill and talk on the couch. There's a lot of different options to explore. Let me know your favorite one in the comments. I can't always guarantee that my pictures will be straight thanks to this guy. I will say the only reason that I hesitated was because I didn't want to spend hours in a different room than my partner. Also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but these straight lines ain't straight lining. I'm really happy about this though. I, I know that I was hesitating because I wanted to be with my partner and my dogs and I, I didn't want to spend hours in a room away. But I also needed a lot of room. I needed silence and I needed kind of my own space because I'm creating my own hobby and I have multiple hobbies and have never created my own space for it. And I think that if there's room and the room isn't being utilized and has been closed off, it's it's time to pull that trigger and just make the room the room you need. 
this is a serious commitment that I have committed fully to and have done so since day one. I've just need to readjust. I have a space to think. I have plenty of room to write. This cat is going to knock over my photos. He's been trying to for days now. I'm seriously loving that every time I click on my mouse, uh, you can't hear a whole table shake. I have like a bazillion ideas that I have not executed greatly. I think I've executed one or two actually. I think I've executed two videos close to the original idea. <laughs> Still need some work. But uh, hopefully you guys can see that I am putting time and effort into learning this, dedicating space to it, really enjoying the process. I'm really enjoying the process. It did take a few weeks of me visualizing how this would work and I think it has panned out pretty close to how I wanted it to. I got some bonuses. I didn't expect to get a table. I thought I was gonna have a long card table and I have a wooden table that doesn't shake nearly as much as any card table used to. So I'm, I'm just really happy. Hopefully all this space, all this room, all this lighting, everything will give me room to grow. I know that sounds cheesy, but really, it gives me the space I need to grow. And hopefully, that will reflect and I hope you guys will continue to watch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what angles you want to see. I'm really excited. I'm doing a lot of things for my own mental and physical well-being and I am giving up some things for the betterment and I kind of feel like this is what this was and I will see you soon. Bye.